and here's after I cleaned the screen and I did actually take that toothbrush to it uh, just very lightly um, that is actually kind of a used toothbrush too so it's been used to scrub some screens uh, but you can see focus in here you can see that there is green all over the screen there is actually some uh, red staining of the screen too there's a lot of red kind of a cyano type of algae in the tank uh, that hasn't been able to get powered off by the upflow scrubber but you can see that uh, except for maybe right in the middle it's a little weak right on one side um, now the flow could have something to do with it too because the pump's so close to this thing um, you know, because it's on top of the tank uh, that I think it, it pushes the water it arcs across the screen um, you can tell the top edge of the screen doesn't have anything in it yet oh yes and here real quick is how easily the screen comes out okay that's it scrub the slot screen back in I can actually do this with one hand if I get it right Okay, I lied. There. Pretty close to one-handed, though. Taking it off, at least. Um, and then, of course, you put it into the slot. Take these. Slide them over. Give it a little tug. And that will, that will stay tight and in the right spot. It'll still rotate a little bit, but you can straighten that out. So... And this is the Rev-1. You can see I patched the hole on the side. It used to have a hole that was higher up. You can see it. Now it's lower down. And this has the lock line drain on it. And uh, what I have is I have a 90 I'm going to put there instead of that union or the ball, the ball valve. Um, and uh, uh, maybe not this week, but eventually. So.